All right, and we're live. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the first uh, live news broadcast that we're doing. We've talked about doing these for a long time. It's exciting to finally get to be able to do them. Um, so if you're watching, you're tuning in, bear with me here. Ooh, there we go, my little title screen. Yay. <laughs> uh, bear with me here because this is my first one doing this. And so uh, I may have, if I mess up, it's, it's live, but I'm working out all the kinks as we go. So for those of you who don't know what we're doing, uh, this again, like I said, is the first one of many. Uh, so I'm doing this one solo in the future. We're going to be doing these every morning, hopefully every morning. And then uh, we're going to have guests on the show with us and going over all the, the news and updates and things going on around town and uh, in Murfreesboro and Rutherford County. And so uh, this first one for Friday, April 1st, happy, uh, happy April Fool's Day. Uh, we're going to kind of go over like our top stories for the week and just touch on some of those if you missed them. So this is kind of a recap of everything. We're going to give like a 30,000 foot overview of the stories and then going to um, um, oop, and then I'll post the links to everything. So you can click on the full story and see them from there. So uh, excuse me while I'm firing all this up. So for those of you tuning in, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. And uh, you can leave uh, comments as we go. This is a live stream and I, sh I will be able to see the comments and I can go back and forth with you. So, um, so thanks, Elizabeth. Let's see your, uh, oops, here we go. I see your comments this morning. Appreciate it. Good morning. Thank you. All right. So give me a second. We're going to fire up the screen here and get these going. So we'll talk about all the news updates. We'll try something different here. Here we go. Boom. There we go. Fancy. Look at that. All right. Okay. So anyways, first news story. Um, I hate to lead off with this one, but this is the first one. It was uh, the biggest news story we've had this week by far. Uh, we got 20,000 hits on this article just within the matter of like the first few hours it was up. But yesterday, uh, we received an alert. Uh, the police uh, arrested a young man, 21-year-old. His name was, uh, I think it was Dijon. Uh, there it is, Dijon Tyson. 21 years old. There's his his photo. Um, he uh, he beat and stabbed his, his father to death, his 55-year-old father, and then also injured his mother, and she is in the hospital right now recovering. Uh, he is in jail on a million-dollar bond at the Rutherford County Adult Detention Center. And so, uh, God, I didn't even want to report on this one, but you know, it came from the police station and we, we do work with them. So we posted it. So I'll post the link to this. If you want to read the full story, um, going on to the next one, uh, this one also happened, I believe yesterday, um, or excuse me, two days ago on the 30th, uh, Smyrna fire department, they contained a local hotel fire. Thankfully, no one was hurt. Fire department got there very quickly. Uh, it was at a hotel and then it was, uh, the, the town place suites at uh, 990 colonnade drive. Uh, in Smyrna, but the, uh, like I said, the fire department got there real quick. They put out the fire. Everybody was evacuated out of the hotel as a, as a, uh, precaution, but everybody went right back in and they were very minimal disturbance. It said, so again, I'll link to this whole article. If you want to see this and all the pictures, you can see them scrolling up there. Uh, but yeah, good job. Smyrna fire department. Thank you for that. And then, uh, this one, I just thought this was fun. Uh, we got a lot of hits on this one. Uh, baby dinosaur was hatched at the Nashville zoo. And so if y'all haven't seen it, the Nashville zoo is doing a new, uh, exhibit for, uh, with dinosaurs. And, uh, they took, went through the whole process of, you know, having a dinosaur egg and they hatched it and people had to guess how big it was going to be and all this sort of stuff. Uh, it's running through the end of July. The, the, uh, I believe it's like $4 to admission to get in and people or children under two years of age are free. There you go. Oh, look at the picture of the cute baby. There you go. <laughs> but, uh, and yes, cause I know somebody's going to comment. They are animatronics. Yes. They're not live dinosaurs. Okay. So I know somebody's going to comment that <laughs> below. So, um, and then, okay, moving on. Here we go. We got uh, detectives need assistance uh, identifying this person of interest. Um, oh, hey, I just got a flood of comments. Um, here we go. Hold on. Let me see if I can do this here. Oh, cool. It worked. All right. I wish you would cover more of Laverne and Smyrna. Yes, uh, Juanita, I am working on that. Thank you very much for bringing that up. Um, I just, I personally live in Murfreesboro and obviously the name Murfreesboro.com. So most of my work keeps me here in Murfreesboro, but I am trying to expand out to Smyrna and Laverne. So, uh, yes, I will work on that. Uh, Jennifer Davenport, thank you for updating us. You appreciate it. I very much appreciate you saying that. Thank you very much. Um, and then, uh, oh, back on the, the John story, Miss Alana there, she went to school with him and, uh, he said he was very sweet and kind in school. You know, sometimes unfortunate things happen. But uh, moving on. Okay. So anyways, um, person of interest right here. Detectives need 
uh, assistance in identifying purchases of interest in a theft case that took place at Mapco on Memorial on the 16th. Um, apparently this gentleman walked in while the clerk was distra- uh, distracted. He grabbed a bunch, a bunch of merchandise and took off running. So I'll put a link to this if you know uh, who this guy is and uh, we'll hopefully catch him. There we go. Coming out. Now this is a cute story. I had to post this one. It's a short little video. Discovery School Tea Party Soiree. Look at the cute kids all dressed up there. But uh, this is just a short little story, but there's about a two-minute video thanks to Michael White over at the city of Murfreesboro uh, that they did at the uh, Discovery School where first graders got all dressed up and did a tea party soiree thing. They actually learned like the history of tea, etiquette, uh, even some dance steps, and they actually had each kid write out their own toast that they had to give. So how cool is that? So kudos to Discovery School for doing that for the kids. That's really neat. Um, And then moving on. Construction update. Uh, Connor, hey, what's up? I see you. Oh, boom. Look, see, I can interact with you as we go. Hey, Connor, <laughs> what's up? Thanks for coming in. I appreciate you. Um, and then, oh, Elizabeth, there you go. Those little guys are adorable. They are adorable, aren't they? Yeah, they're very cute. So, um, But I'll put a link up to that so you can see the whole story. Um, construction update for the Oaks Shopping Center. This one, everybody and their brother has been writing in about asking. So that, I got, this was like Costco round two. Everybody's writing in about this. So, Oaks Shopping Center on the corner of Thompson and Medical Center across the street from the hospital, if you know where that's at, right next to the new DSW, attached to the DSW, Steinmart, excuse me, ah, God bless, can't talk today. Um, uh, There's about eight different, uh, I think it's eight or nine total uh, outlets that are coming in right there, as you can see in the, uh, the picture right there in the video. Um, But I go over the whole thing in the video, but just to give you a heads up, it's a uh, they wouldn't let me announce the names of all the ones that are coming because three of them are currently under negotiations and they're not finalized yet. And so once all, everything's finalized for all of them, they don't want to do one big announcement. But I know there's three under negotiation. There's three restaurants, one of which is a Mediterranean restaurant. The other two are like super secret hush hush. And then there's going to be two like healthy lifestyle type um, uh stores in there, which a lot of people were saying like GNC or maybe another smoothie shop or something. The, the guesses were all over the place. But as soon as I know, I will let you know, um, or excuse me, as soon as I have permission to announce them, I will. So, um, anyways, going on, we've got next one update. Aha. This one, um, this was an article, an update on an article we posted previously. Uh, this woman is wanted for questioning. So if anybody knows, there's a little video here um, that you can watch that. I'll put a link to it. Um, but uh, her name is Kanika Coleman, uh, also known as as Honey Nika Jones. Uh, but she, it's identity theft she's wanted for. And she st- it looks, sounds like she's stole a bunch of credit cards is what it sounds like. She's been trying to use people's identities. And uh, she drives a white BMW. There you go, that picture right there. And sorry, that picture is a little blurry. That's all we got. That's what they sent us. So if anybody knows her, contact. Oops, here we go. Detective Jessica Rice at that number right there you see on the screen. So, all right. Next up. Construction update. Another one. Yay. Uh, 3019 Parkway. I'll just hit this one real quick because this was kind of a <laughs> bummer to everybody. Sorry, but it's a enterprise rent center And so um, according to the building permits, it's an enterprise rent-a-car and car wash. So need to rent a car now you got another place to do it so uh full video description on that one but that's pretty much it so uh more updates on that one as they come and then um another person wanted for questioning of an aggravated burglary theft and fraudulent use of a credit card uh right here you can see the uh there's the murfreesboro police post there and as well as the pictures they sent but these are the best pictures they sent us sorry they're so grainy you can barely see their face so you would think with all the crazy tech, I mean, what you're watching me on right now is my phone. So, um, you would think security cameras could probably get a little better image. Don't you think just my two cents. So gas station up, upgrade your, uh, security cameras. So anyways, uh, I'll put a link to that one. So if you know, recognize this person, make sure to contact, there he is. Detective Ed Gorham at that number right there. Okay. Moving on. We got a couple left. Um, this one, now this one, this is very sad. Um, this, uh, there was a fire at a detached garage at a family's home and they had three dogs in the garage and all dogs unfortunately passed away in the fire. Um, they had put, it was, uh, I believe it was Monday. Yeah, here we go in Smyrna Monday afternoon, right there. Um, they put a heating, uh, fan lamp out there in the garage to help keep the dogs warm. And unfortunately, Something happened and it, it was, I think, an electrical fire, they said, and it caught fire and unfortunately the dogs passed. And so 
Um, sad story. I'm just going to stop it there. If you all want, I'll put a link to that. You can see the rest. Uh, moving on here. Uh, this was a cool one. I just thought I'd post this. Nurses visit Rocky Fork Middle School. Look at the pictures there. Oh, look at that. And uh, big shout out to nurses Shannon and Stephanie from TriStar Stonecrest Medical Center, our partners out there in Smyrna. Um, they actually came out to Rocky Fork Middle School to educate the kids on symptoms associated with a stroke. But they also made this giant operation game. You see that? Like their own custom version. And they got to teach the kids. Basically, the kids were saving their life through this big giant game. Pretty cool. So, all right, next up, construction update, Innsbruck Town Square. Everybody's been writing in about this one as well. It's right in front of the Kroger on South Church Street as you're headed out of town on the right, as you're headed out towards uh, Shelbyville and Church Street uh, on the right where that Kroger is, right in front of it next to the Starbucks. Um, they broke ground on a take five oil change place. Um, more updates in the video, but from what I understand, what I was told, I guess these take five oil change places have kind of partnered up with Kroger. And so the, uh, where the Kroger's are that you might be seeing a lot more of these take five oil change places popping up, but they are very quick. They're just drive in, drive out, get your oil change. They check the fluids, your tires, boom, you're in and out. So it's, it's a uh, oil change on the run type thing. And then I got two more updates here. I'm going to give you, we got, um, Okay, this one got a lot of hits. I'm just going to leave this one. I'm just going to explain. <laughs> Director and the school board uh, reach agreement on shortened contract for Spurlock. Um, he's going to serve through June 30th while the school board begins their search for his replacement. Um, comment on that however you want, uh, but I'm going to leave that one alone. <laughs> and so, uh, uh, but uh, I'll, get, I'll put a link in the comments to that full story if you want to read it. And then finally... Barfield Park is expanding. Did a video on this one. People seem to like this. Uh, Barfield Park uh, acquired 73 additional acres, I believe, is on the south side of the park, um, giving it a total of almost 500 acres total, and they are going to expand the, the park trails. I think there it's the Red Trail, the popular Red Trail, that they are expanding off of that, as well as doing, um, I guess, the new land they acquired is very flat, and so they're going to do like a perimeter trail around the new property as well so 73 acres um they acquired for that giving almost 500 total acres over at barfield park so um so there's the updates on some of the big stories the big hit stories we had this week here let me switch back boom there we go hey there we go so i hope you all like this we're actually gonna what we're doing with these newscasts is we're actually going to combine them with like our podcasts in the morning and we're going to have guests on the show and like i said talk about uh, the news and events, what's going on around town, um, and then uh, and, and interact with people. So we want these to be live so I can see your comments as they're coming in here and so we can respond to them. And, oh, put my, there we go. Hey, getting all fancy with this software here. I'm learning it as I go, so bear with me here. Um, also, if you haven't already, I'm going to put this up on the screen. We do have our news our text, our mobile texting, uh, news alerts. Now they're, they are live. You can text news to that phone number you see on the screen, 615-813-6016. And every morning I send out a, um, Oh, there we go. Elizabeth. Thanks for doing this much. Appreciate it. You are welcome. Thank you for the kind words. I appreciate it. Um, but uh, again, text that number. If you see text news to that number, you see on the bottom of the screen there. And I send out a, a mobile text alert with all the previous updates from the previous day. So you can see them as we go. Aha, Marilyn. Boom. I like it. Great job, John. Thank you. I appreciate that. So there you go. There's our updates for today. Uh, oh, one thing. I am going to switch screens here because everybody's been asking about I get asked this a lot. Okay, so you're looking at the screen. People ask, how do we add an event to your calendar? It's very simple. See this events tab at the top? If you click on the events tab, come on, internet. Of course, we're live and it wants to go slow. Okay. That link right there, you just see, add your event to the calendar here. You click that or under the events tab, there's a drop down that says add event. They go to the same place. But if you click that and it loads, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Add a new event. This form loads up. You fill all this out down at the bottom, you hit submit and it goes, it goes to the website, but it goes, there we go. It goes into a pending folder. So it doesn't go live right away. It helps prevent spam. So I can see, I can moderate all the uh, events that people are posting. So um, if you do that, add it to the calendar. And a lot of times I'm going to go through and pick out events in the calendar and we're going to announce them and talk about them. So uh, it's uh, make sure you add your events. The more stuff on the calendar, the more I can 
alert the public. So there you go. So anyways, that's it for today. I appreciate y'all watching. Thank you very much. Um, please comment and let me know how you like this. If, if you like the format, uh, if you didn't constructive criticism is always welcome. Uh, but next week we're going to start having guests on here with us and doing them live in the morning. Going to have like a little morning show. It's gonna be kind of fun. So again, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Now go put a smile on somebody's face today. We'll see y'all. Thanks for watching.